very quiet, but if you look really closely, There, this is building number two, and I am on the sixth floor. Look at them. There's two right there. One's looking directly in at me. This is insane. I don't know why I'm whispering. I can probably let's see what it takes to make one fly. All right. Oh, and a hole. A probably about a flock of 20 just took off from out that window. Let me set up and go get some pigeons for you guys. I found a little group of them and I am shooting Predator Polymag shorts and I am shooting them out of my factory tune Benjamin Marauder and I have a Hill Air Gun suppressor on it. And that guy did go down. Heard him hit. If you look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and they're still coming into land. I've only had to wait but a few seconds and they've come right back in. So let me study up on this guy. Dead center, right in his chest. I saw it hit him and I heard him go down. I've got my side wheel on my scope, my objective, sighted in right at 25 yards. And the benefit of shooting here is there's so many open windows I don't even have to adjust my parallax. I can just move two, you know, two feet down to the next window. And I mean, if you see, I'm in a target-rich environment. Just. And he's dead. There's a pigeon right out of here. I forget if I reload it. I did not. He fell hard. And there's another one right there. Uh, he 
just took off. That is good, that is good. What I love most about this location is the variety of shooting that I'm getting to do. I'm shooting at targets above me, I'm shooting at targets below me, shooting at targets straight across in front of me. Normally it's on a slight upward angle, and if I walk into that room over there, I'm shooting at targets indoors. Most of my shots are being taken from indoors, directly outdoors, out these windows. If you look, and I just saw a pigeon fly down, you can see that pretty much almost every one of these, and I can open and close this window right here. I actually opened it up and I'm gonna close it before I leave. But like, you know, here's a, a window that's been broken out. Here's a window that's been broken out. I can actually open and close this window, although I, I'm not gonna do anything to it because it seems a bit dangerous here. But if you look out, you know, I got targets above me, targets below me. I mean, I can just look out. I just saw pigeons flying and there's some pigeons, believe it or not. There's two of them right there and they're uh, I'd say one, two floors below me. So, uh, let me get the gun and I'm gonna see if I can't get one of those guys. All right, you just saw me point out those two pigeons. Let's see if I can't get over to this window without spooking them. They're too close for me right here. I actually gotta back up to this window maybe. I don't think I can get them. Hold on. I have to lean out. I'm pretty much shooting straight down. And he's down. And in order to not double load a pellet, I actually took my magazine out, so let me, let me put the magazine back in here and I'll see if I can't take his friend out. And I must have missed that because his friend has flown over here. But the good thing about being in this building is all I have to do is walk this way back to this open window I was showing you guys about and I see his friend right here that I missed. So, okay, so his friend has now outsmarted me. That's unfortunate. You can't kill them all. I'm loving this new UTG side wheel. It makes life so much easier. Let me... I thought there were... Oh yeah, there are. There's one there. One there. Oh, for this guy. Oh yeah, he's down. Last round of this clip. He's on the ground. All right guys, you just saw me take that one from inside here and I actually recovered him. And as you can see, I actually got him right in the crop and out the other side. Guys, I'm gonna take a second to explain why I'm here. If you look up here, you see this pipe here, this pipe here, and these pipes here, some windows. Okay, now let's look right below these pipes. You see this line here, this line here, and this line here. What this is, is pigeon poo and crap, and literally, it is in places an inch to three inches thick. It is literally caked so heavy, it is 
pulling up right there. So, and it smells, well, it doesn't really smell nasty, but it, you can smell it. It's just smells like bird dust and garbage. And look at how big it's mounded up in that corner right there. That is just disgusting. I really don't even like coming in this little area of the building. It just gets on you and it's gross. I'm gonna go back over there. I can actually hear them landing. Keep at it. Guys, and this is how bad the pitching problem is. This thing is literally 12 feet away from me. Not even. That was so close, I'm sure the pellet kind of went below the crosshairs. I actually just came out here on the roof to get some air and find some shade. You just saw that last shot I took where the pigeon was literally my side objective wheel is as far as I could get it and it still wasn't in focus and it says 10 yards on the wheel. That thing literally 12 feet, 12 feet. And you saw me, I was just there 12 feet away from it and I was just speaking in the camera, hey, look it, and it didn't fly away, so I, I think my hands were tied. I, I had no other option. I, I had to shoot him. And now that I'm sitting here, and there's probably five or six pigeons right there. I'm not even gonna try and sneak over to them. I'm hot, I'm out here, I'm enjoying the, the nice cool breeze and the shade on the roof. I don't really see a need, and I mean, I can reach out and grab that one out of the air if I wanted to. They're everywhere. Everywhere. I think I'm going to run out of video before I run out of anything. I've got... I hope you can pick this up on audio, them flying right by me. I've got a full tin of pellets, a little buddy bottle full of air. I can see them there. and. <laughs> Everything in me wants to just grab the gun and go. One flew down and they're all like now playing almost follow the leader or something. I don't think I can fight this urge much longer. I'm about to go over there. There's something interesting about that bit of grass right there. I see a flock come in and land and they all walk to the center of that and seem to disappear. That's got me super curious. I'm sneaking up on that flock of uh about seven to ten pigeons that you saw on the roof. I'm gonna go a little quieter here because they're all they're on that roof. I don't need to be quiet. They aren't going anywhere, so Let's see. Okay, I see where they are. Alright, let me put the gun down here. Oh, that's pigeon blood there from the one I shot earlier. Okay. Let's see. Well, I am gonna be shooting. Okay, hopefully my camera doesn't fall out of the window. That would suck. There's just something oddly satisfying. Hearing the sound of the pellet hit the bird, and then hearing the bird hit the ground. And not satisfying in like, ooh, I'm a killer sort of way, just like I did my job and everything worked as it was supposed to. Good for me. You know, if you're a hunter, you'll understand. If you're a non-hunter, you're gonna think it's weird. Boy, that breeze feels good.
Ooh, got that one right in the crop. All right, if I take this shot, it'll be much further than the ranges I have been shooting. But you know what? I wanna see. So. Well, if they just keep walking closer, I guess it won't be. Okay, well, I mean. You're gonna fly right to me. I'm gonna take the shot. First headshot I've ever attempted on a pigeon, and judging how it acted, I got it right in the head. <sighs> I am so stoked. That is awesome. Put him down. That's like, I don't even know how many pigeons for the day. You know what? The funny thing is, just to show you how many are here. Not that you really need more proof. But there's some right there. So I'm gonna go slow. Because I don't wanna spook them. Yeah, they're getting spooky. Okay, but one didn't fly. One stayed. One stayed. Hold on. He's getting spooky though. All right, let me find him in the scope. This is a really awkward shot. I'm bent over holding the rifle with two hands and it's braced on a window, so I'm not gonna go for a fancy headshot again. But I didn't need one. Heard that one thump. Now I'm gonna aim for the body just so I don't accidentally pass, you know, high or low and hit the glass by accident. And I can miss them completely. Well, the sun's shining right at the camera, so this will be hard to see, but...
and I think you guys probably could hear him <laughs> crash and fall down. I'm just gonna go out here and make sure he's dead. I mean, he hit the ground, he is dead, but I just wanna put eyes on and confirm that he is dead. If not, I got one round in there I can put in him. You know, no sense in making him hurt. There he is, right there, dead. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm actually gonna have to go through the video and watch to see how many birds I put down today, but I think I ran through three full clips and three rounds out of another clip. Lots of confirmed kills. My first pigeon headshot ever, and it's caught on high speed. I can't wait to go back and see that just to confirm that's what happened. I will see you back here next time for more Pigeon Madness. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be kept up to date with all the newest videos I got coming out. And believe me, there are some good ones that you aren't gonna wanna miss. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. So uh, just some information about today's hunt. Let me show you the gun I'm using right here quick. And maybe I shouldn't be sitting up here because it's making my knees dirty. This is my Benjamin Marauder. I have the UTG dovetail to Picatinny rail extender, the whole bar. I have a UTG forward cant scope mount that I ended up having to adapt. UTG 3 to 12 side wheel slot scope. Got the actual side wheel on there. Hill air gun suppressor with a suppressor cover. Just the $13 eBay camera holder and the Casio. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, he flew away. Anyways, the Casio high speed camera. I do have some water with me. I'm drinking lots of water, taking my time. The pigeons aren't going anywhere. They love this place. They're always going to be here until I kill them all. Alright, I'm pulling it back in. It is...